Hello and welcome to the Ventus Designer basic tutorial series. This video series shall give you a starting point to learn Ventus and give you an overview of the most important features and workflows of the Ventus Designer. If you need more information on showcases, solutions or learning resources in general, make sure to visit our website ventus.com. This video will start to explain the general philosophy of Ventus, our product lineup and the installation of the software suit, and give you hints to our help system. So if you have a good idea of that, you can safely skip this video. One point of view of Ventus is to offer the same basic tools to every user. Regardless of your use case, you will most likely have the same features, workflows and skill requirements. To start, we will have a look at the main use cases and solutions we offer with our products. As you can see on our website ventus.com, the software suit is mainly aimed to be used in the broadcast, event and presentation markets. Our focus lies on high scalability, offering solutions like synchronizing and controlling big clusters of machines, easy to implement multi-touch functionality used in for example presentations and exhibitions, solutions for on-air as well as in-studio broadcast graphics, interactive linear or non-linear presentations and the creation of unusual projection mappings. There are three products to serve these use cases the Ventus Designer, the Director and the Runtime. In your project you will use these three programs depending on its current stage of production. While you can composite your 3D content and produce your projects with the Ventus Designer, you can play them out as presentations with the Ventus Runtime or control one or several runtimes with the help of our control software, the Ventus Director. The focus of this tutorial will lie on the Ventus Designer, since it is the starting point and the most used software in each project. We will offer only a short look at the workflow between the three programs. In order to learn Ventus and start using the suit, you can use the Personal Learning Edition, or PLE for short. This version contains every feature of the suit and was created for evaluation and education purposes. The only limitation is the watermark on the output of the renderer. We will have a look at how to obtain a PLE soon. If you want to purchase Ventus, you can buy the basic version of each of our products and add output options to them. By default, you are only able to output on your machine's GPU, but you can add for example an SDI feature to also be able to output on SDI board. Please note that all scenes can be opened in the PLE, but the scene built in the PLE cannot be opened in any other license version. For more detailed information, please contact our sales team. You can download the software on the download page of our website directly. No matter what license you own, this is always the place to go for downloading the latest version. Older versions can be found in the archive. Install the software either with the typical settings or select which components to leave out. Once done, you have the whole suit, the designer, director and runtime on your machine. When you want to start one of these and do not own a license yet, instead of starting the program, the license manager shows up, asking you to somehow activate a license. You can see a list of all applicable licenses, your machine and each inserted dongle. In this window you can request a PLE for each of them. You only need to input your own and your company's name and an email address. In order to register the requested PLE you will need to have internet access for this moment. Once the PLE is registered you can start working and even turn off your internet connection again. A PLE can be upgraded to another license later on. When you have purchased the license already, you can input the license key on either one of the dongles or your machine, but keep in mind that the machine license can never be transferred to another machine, while the dongle license can easily be inserted and used in any machine. If this window does not open, you will most likely already have a license and can start to work right away. Now let us have a look at where to search once you run into problems. First, you can access the user manual by clicking on the question mark in the top right corner of the designer window. This will open the start page of the user manual. Here you can see all pages of the user manual listed in the sidebar and have a look at the most interesting topics when starting to use Ventus. Also note the facts section in the user manual as it may cover most of the questions appearing when working with Ventus for the first few times. 
When pressing F1 while hovering an element in the Ventus Designer, the Help Context menu opens. From here you can jump to the User Manual page explaining that part of the Designer. Also for many elements, especially for all the nodes, there's a help scene that you can open to see the node in action. In the Open Project dialog you may have already noticed the demo projects that can be found online. Just tick the entry down here to get all available projects. These are small examples of the general usage of Ventus or certain features. Also you can copy and paste any element of these projects over for the use in your own project. Besides this video tutorial series, we also have a lot of small video snippets that show short instruction on how to achieve certain things or give hints on how to use the designer more efficiently. If all of these parts of our help system do not help you with your problem, you can still go to our online forum and search for posts that state the same questions that you have. You can of course get an account yourself and post your questions in the coding boards as well. When you have the feeling that the other Ventusians cannot help you with your problem, you can still write an email to our support team. Instead of writing a mail directly, you can also use the feedback button up here. You can write positive or negative feedback, bug reports, suggestions for changes or a feature request with this. Remember, the more precise the information that we get are, the better we can help you with your problem. Also, you should give an exact reproduction guide for a bug report, so that we can find the bug on our site as well. Lastly, you can book our trainings additionally to watching the series. On our website you can see the schedule for our online webinars and trainings, and you can also book one of those directly. If you want a more personal training, again you can contact our trainings team for that. This is it for the introduction to the Ventus world. We hope you get curious already and want to start building your own projects. In the next video we will build a very simple presentation that is already able to be played out and covers many of Ventus features in the designer.